Hello everyone, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Hillary Hill and today I am going to show you how to make a t-shirt design on Canva. All right, so once you make an account in Canva, you log in and you'll come to this home screen or something like it <laughs> if they update it. All right, now I do want to point out that there are templates that you can use for t-shirt design. Okay, so if you go to templates, which by the way, Canva has some amazing templates on all different kinds of things. Uh, you can even make a website in Canva, but I digress. So let's go up here and just search uh, t-shirts. You click on that and it'll show you all different kinds of designs that you can start with and make your own all right that's cool stuff all right but for this video i'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt from scratch so what you're going to do um, we're going to go up here to create a design and custom dimensions and some of the specs i used, like to use is in pixels and it's going to be 4500 by 5400 create design and this nice lovely new page is gonna pop up now when I design shirts um, a lot of them are gonna be for shirts that are you know black or maybe blue so I'm gonna start with a black background for my shirts all right next we want to get some text this is gonna be a text based design and so how you do that um, they have some you know uh, uh, templates already down here if you wanted to use something like that you would just click it and it turns black apparently <laughs> but let's let's click add a heading all right so that popped up super small so we're gonna have to enlarge it and you do that but just by clicking on the side and bringing it up like that and now we're gonna put it in the center which is very easy by the way to find the center in Canva all right so that's if you wanted to do a text-based design you just put in you know whatever you wanted to here you can change the font up here I have a lot of lo loaded fonts one thing I love about Canva you can load um, if you have the pro version you can load lots of fonts on here that you buy or get from the internet but they also have a ton I mean a ton of fonts already on here now if you're going to be selling shirts you know you have to be careful that they're okay for commercial use so any font you find you need to google that font and see if it's available for commercial use all right so that's what you do with the text now of course if you wanted to upload any kind of images you could go to Etsy I like to buy images on there of course make sure that the seller um, gives you permission to use their designs and clip art for commercial use uh, most of the time they will but you do you need you do need to ask and so let's see there's some lovely birds I bought so really easy you just click and there's the image and you can make it small or you can make it large you can do all kinds of things with the images you can change the effects uh, change it a different color all right you can uh, do all kinds of crazy things with your <laughs> images there's even different kinds of filters on here um, and if you do something you don't like, it's very easy to undo it. So we're going to undo that. Uh, all kinds of filters that you can do to change the color or the um, uh, effect of the photo or the image that you're using. You can adjust the colors, contrast, brightness. All right. Even blur up here. All right, and then you can flip horizontal or flip vertical see they just made it so easy you don't 
You know, I don't know how to use Photoshop. I have tried, I just don't have the time to learn that beast of a program. So if you're like me and you still want to make some shirts, Canva is great for you. Okay, so I'm going to delete this little bird. And another thing I love about Canva, and this is, I think, a recent thing they did, or maybe I'm just recently noticing it, but they do have it integrated with Pixabay and Pexels, two uh, photo sharing websites. Oh, I'm sorry, not photo sharing. Uh, stock photo websites so you can just go in here and type in anything you want to uh, so for right now I'm just going to type in animals to see if I can get an animal picture uh, that's a funny little squirrel so I'm going to do the funny little squirrel I think let's see anything else actually you know what I don't know what this is but I'm going to click that and see I don't want that big white in part in there right so I'm gonna go up here make sure the image is clicked go up to effects and I'm gonna remove that background with the background remover which is a great um, tool in my opinion <laughs> all right so it removed all of that white on the side so now I mean, if you wanted to, you could put images on there, anything you want. Uh, let's see what else you can do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a um, design for you guys, a text-based design. It's going to be a birthday shirt for a girl. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a shirt in Canva. Now, for the sake of time, I've already got it. Um, set up for you guys, but I used a font that I bought. It's called Veneer. It's one of my favorite fonts to use. I'll leave a link at the bottom if you want to purchase it. I think I bought it for about $15 and I've used it many, many times. Uh, but what you do is uh, I just made one text box at a time and, you know, made, you know, change the size according to what I needed. And you can move it around, center it. Canva just makes it so easy um, to change the color. You would just click on one of the words. And you can, um, if you have a brand with colors that you want to stick with, there's uh, Canva even has an option to um, upload your brand colors to make it easier to, um, to get when you need them. So I can change this color to whatever I want. Uh, I'm going to go up and down on the color. I call it a color wheel, but okay, I'm going to come back here. And yeah, uh, and again, you go here and there's all these fonts you can change it to. So many fonts that you can add. I'm going to change that back to veneer. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Okay, and when you're done with your image, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to Publish, Download, and you're going to save it as a PNG. We have it at 4500 by 5400 pixels, and we're going to save it with a transparent background. Now, unfortunately, the free Canva version, you cannot save as a transparent background. So, if you want to make... Um, if you want to use Canva specifically for making shirts, then you're going to need to get the pro version. So we're going to do that, and then we just download. And it only takes a few seconds for it to load. And then we save it. All right? Pretty easy. Now, Canva does save your shirt designs. If you come here to click all your designs, um, all your stuff will be saved in here. All right. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, um, please leave them down below. Um, if you'd like me to show you how to do something else on Canva, just let me know. And if you would like to learn how I have used Canva for the past three years to make a full-time income on uh, selling shirts online, then go ahead and subscribe and like this post and I will make more videos about that. All right. Thank you so much for watching.